Hello everybody and welcome to Switzerland. We just got into our accommodation. It is absolutely massive, but the best part is going to be waking up at Titmus Mountain. It is dark at the moment, but this camera's doing a pretty good job at picking everything up. So this is a ski slope that they slide down. Apparently it's pretty dangerous. I'm not going to be skiing or snowboarding this time around, but it's like so festive and Christmassy. It also isn't really that cold yet. We did just carry like 20 plus kilos worth of luggage up the stairs, four flights of stairs. We're all going to head out for a quick walk and then dinner is at 7.30 and then tomorrow we're heading up Titmus Mountain. So probably see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everybody. <laughs> we have woken up in Switzerland. <laughs> Mish and I are actually very lucky. We have a view of the mountain. I'll show you guys. In half an hour we are going to head up to Mount Titlis. We're all just going to play around today. Uh, we are heading to the Austrian Alps in a few weeks time. People are going to like snowboard and ski there. So today's more of just like a chill day, literally. <laughs> Apparently it's like the opening of the ski season today. So there's actually going to be like a rave up on the mountain. I can't wait to show you guys what that consists of because a daytime rave on Titlis Mountain could be pretty interesting. But yes, I can't wait to show you guys everywhere because it's gorgeous. And it's also minus four degrees. We've all just come up Mount Titlis and everyone's complaining that they're cold, but I feel like I could be superhuman because I really am not that cold. The thing that's getting me is the altitude because it's so hard to talk and walk and breathe at the same time without feeling very unfit. I've already got snowballed twice now. Thanks, Ben and Rob. Hi. Everyone was a bit chilly, so we've come up and have our first Swiss hot chocolate. It's going to take me a while because the cream's quite big, so... At Mount Titlis, they have an ice cave that you can actually come into. It's so cool. Just be careful because it is very slippery. There was an outside access to this, but it's actually snowed over. So if you guys come to level one, there's like an access through there. Hey guys, it's not a gondola that I'm on. It's actually called a cable car because gondolas are what you ride on in the water. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is a gondola. Say hello to my friends. Hi. Introduce yourself. Jack. How old are you, Jack? Jack 22. The <laughs> Next. Kira. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> they made me a film, so now I have to make them uncomfortable. <laughs> She's lying. <laughs> We're not actually in Switzerland, we're at home. Yeah. <laughs> Massive green screen. We're back in Australia. <laughs> oh, no, we are on our way down the cable cars. There's a little lake. I'm going to assume that it's frozen over, but we're all going to go get some photos there. And then there's also a rave, like I mentioned to you guys this morning. So, see what happens. But we're, we're leaving the, um, the rave now. <laughs> We've just been at the rave. We've wasted. So is she. <laughs> and now we're heading home. <laughs> Laters. I haven't had anything to drink, guys. <laughs> yes, yeah, she has. She's wasted. <laughs> I did just get dog piled though in the snow. Yeah, you did. That was funny. I'm proper covered. I'll insert some footage from someone's phone. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Stop it. Oh, Barry! Oh, no! Ah, Barry! Wait, wait, wait. Wait. I can't stop it. We should all just get it on. Oh, my God. We 
always uh, some uh, snow kicked on you too. Yeah, literally kicked to the curb. Yeah. In the ice curb. I thought you didn't fall off. Yeah, it was like a proper hill, so. Oh. <laughs> Guys are lucky I'm still here. <laughs> Six of us have come down to a little cheese fondue place for the night. I don't know what it's called, but I'll pop it on here. I'm gonna let my my new friends introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Tom. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Erin. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nisha. Kelly. Oh, well, that. <laughs> the waiter definitely like ups salt a lot of things. One of them was a Swiss lemonade. Apparently it's healthy. Oh, it's good. Is it good? It's good, it's good. Mm. You just steal a pickle. It's kind of just like a flat lemonade. Yeah. Oh. Yeah? It tastes like a flat lemonade. Herby. A little bit herby. Oh, ginger? Like a ginger beer? Like a flat ginger beer? Like a, like a nice, like, not a strong ginger. Yeah, no, I do like that. Can't read it. It's in German. <laughs> <laughs> Rivella original. That's nice though. I like it. No, me too. Quite nice. They just brought around some pickles, onions, and bread. The reason they brought out the pickles, onion, and bread is so that you can actually dip them into the cheese. And you guys, this was absolutely amazing. We got three different types of cheese. We actually got like a bacon and onion one. A uh, chili and cheese, of course they're all cheese. And then I think maybe like a garlic and onion one. I can kind of only remember mine because I got the bacon and cheese and it was divine. You could also choose to get meat as well, but we just chose like the cheese pots with the sides that had already come with it because the meat did cost extra money. But you guys, it has been a hot minute since I spoke to you guys and I kind of wanted to jump into this vlog and explain why. So at the moment, I'm actually on a Top Deck tour. Top Deck is just a tour company with 24 other people. And the tour I'm on at the moment is the Great European Winter Edition Play and Pause. We're actually visiting, I think it's like 14 countries within the span of 28 days. So it is quite go, go, go. A lot of the time we're getting into countries at like five o'clock in the afternoon and then leaving at seven o'clock the next morning. So I haven't really been inclined to pick up my camera to show you guys around because it has been dark, it's been late. I haven't been able to really see the city myself. So there are a lot of places that I want to come back to. I'm absolutely loving the way that this tour is set up because you do get to see so much in basically four weeks but it's definitely been hard to film and stay consistent when we are jumping around to so many places and the way this is kind of working you get one day in a city then the next day is a drive day one day in a city next day is a drive day so on and so forth there are some countries that we do get to spend a little bit more time in like three days in Austria I haven't uploaded that video because you you guys will see why it's going to be a very very short video but yes I did want to jump on here and explain why the videos have been kind of like far and few between especially the upcoming ones we spent like a week in Italy so that one's gonna be a little bit more full-on I was sick during that week so it's gonna be like a lot of voiceovers but yeah it's been a little bit hard to find the motivation to pick up my camera and actually film and talk to you guys when we're only in the city for essentially a few hours before we go to sleep and pack up and go again but at the moment we are in Czech Republic. We are staying in a little town called Chesky Krumlov. I believe it's pronounced. I really hope that's how it's pronounced. And it's like a fairy tale. So I'm gonna definitely pick up my camera and film for you guys tomorrow. And then we are heading to Prague. I'm going to try and be a little bit more consistent for you guys. Even if it's a couple minutes here and there of every country, at least I'm showing you guys what I'm seeing and I'm documenting it for myself. So kind of picking up the rhythm of vlogging, bringing my camera back out. I did go through a stage of being homesick. I feel like I'm coming out of that stage now, but with it being Christmas, New Year's and my birthday, I just felt very, very homesick. And something that I haven't really spoken about is my mental health as well. I just found that I wasn't wanting to film because I was homesick. I was getting anxious as well and I'm starting to realize that when I am starting to get anxious I need to try and focus on myself as selfish as it sounds I need to focus on myself and trying to get myself out of bad habits and like past habits that I kind of would have gone into basically just keeping to myself and I know that I do need to take some time just to be myself to like stop those anxious thoughts and whatnot so you know Christmas New Year's birthday getting a little bit anxious uh, for one reason or another, then like jumping from country to country, 
I definitely haven't prioritized vlogging, but I'm going to definitely do my best that I can. So that's why I just wanted to jump in here and explain that to you guys. But I really hope you enjoyed my Switzerland vlog and I will see you guys in the next one, which will be Italy.